Welcome RPA Champions. In today's video I'm going to be showing you something pretty amazing. I'm going to be showing you how to combine finally Microsoft Power Automate desktop with ChatGPT. What does that mean? That means that we're going to be able to give the capabilities of GPT of text generating, analyzing images, PDFs and so forth with the power of automation from Microsoft Power Automate desktop. Now this is amazing because this is going to allow us to do all kinds of different use cases. Now in this example right here I'm generating a LinkedIn content. So I'm generating a post to be posted on LinkedIn. And after that, in the example right after this, that I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be extracting some data with GPT from a PDF. The PDF is a invoice and we're going to be extracting information such as, let's click on this, such as the item and the price. So we have a sink of $200. Then we have a filter for $150 and so on. Now I loaded a invoice, a PDF invoice inside of this. Previously we would have used Microsoft Power Automate AI Builder to do this. We couldn't do it with desktop and it would have been pretty difficult. Now it's like we upload the PDF to ChatGPT and we have a prompt that is going to extract this information and then we can use this information inside of an Excel sheet to put it on a web page or do whatever kind of information we want. Isn't that pretty cool? And we're going to be learning this right now. I'm going to be walking you through all of different modules. But before, I have a great surprise for you. I'm going to be sharing and making available my courses for Microsoft Power Automate Desktop for free for you. I will be sharing the links to these courses, the uh, Microsoft Power Automate PL500 certification that is going to allow you to get certified as an RPA developer. I'm also going to be sharing the advanced and non-advanced Power Automate desktop trainings and it's going to be for free. So take it, please check these courses out, start learning and you'll be also able to follow along on the more examples or the more hard examples that I'm going to be creating in AI and automation. Now with all of this said, let's jump right into this process. We're going to be starting from a blank Canva. So the first step that we need to do is we need to invoke a web service. This sounds complicated, but this is just making a call to ChatGPT or asking ChatGPT or sending some information for us to ChatGPT and then getting some information back from ChatGPT and then using it inside of our flows. We're going to be using this action right here that's called invoke web service. Now this action is going to have some complicated kind of quote unquote parameters that might not seem user friendly, but I'll show you exactly how and where you get this information to fill out all of this information. Now, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using ChatGPT. Now we can also be using Claude, we can be using Gemini, we can be using any model that is available via API. Now, if we go to the OpenAI documentation and we take a look at a little bit at the documentation in the quick start guide and also in different places, we're going to pretty much find this everywhere. This is the URL that we're going to be using as the endpoint for the uh, for our call. After that, we're going to be using the content type as application JSON. So right here, we're going to change this application XML and change it to application JSON. After that, we also see that we have something that's called authorization and then Baron Open API token. So we're going to copy this and we're going to put it inside of the custom headers. Now we're going to replace the Open AI API key with our own API key. Now, once you have logged inside of your platform, you're going to go to API and you're going to create a new secret key. We're going to assign it to a default project and we're going to create this secret key. Once the secret key is created, we're going to copy it, go back to Microsoft Power Automate Desktop and replace this variable with our API key. Now, after we have inserted that information from OpenAI, we're going to change the method to post. And after that, we're going to be pasting this format right here. So this is also from OpenAI. We have a uh, JSON syntax, which says messages, and then we have a role of a system, then the content. So in this case, we are going to be giving this a role for such as you are a senior content writer on a mission to write SEO optimized and provocative content with a simple and millennial tone of voice. After that, we're also going to give it a prompt. So right here, we're going to be a user 
and this is going to be the user that is asking it and we're going to simulate like write LinkedIn post about intelligent automation and uh, the output of ChatGPT is going to be that it's going to receive this system instructions after that it is going to receive something just like a prompt from us the prompt is going to be write a LinkedIn post about intelligent automation now by doing this we can create thousands of different uh, posts if we wanted we could just change this make this into a variable by canceling it and then inserting a variable that we have created or also the instructions but let's first focus on making this run and then we're going to be seeing all kinds of different versions of this that we can do now if we go to advanced there's one more thing that we have to do is we have to disable the encode the request body now after all of this is done let's click on save and let's test our run so let's test it and let's see what happens so it should make a call to chat gpt and we should get some answer now we have a status code of 200 which means that it was answered successfully if we double click on this 200 and if we click on the response from the web server we're going to see everything that has been sent back to us from open ai now take a look at this so this is our post ready to be posted on linkedin ready to level up, up your business game say hello to intelligent automation etc etc now we have this inside of a json variable however it would be great if we could get this content somehow and have it inside of a variable so that we can quickly use it and now the updated version of uh, Microsoft Power Automate Desktop is going to have a action that is going to allow you to chat with ChatGPT on uh, Microsoft servers, but it is going to have quite a few limitations actually. Well, at least in its first version. Knowing how to do this in this way, it is going to give you a lot of flexibility also on the way that you're going to create your automations. Also, because in this way, uh, you don't have to confirm that this text has been generated by AI. What do I mean? That in the new action that's going to be in Power Automate Desktop, after each generation, a user has to manually confirm this text that has been generated keep a lookout for that so close this and what do we have to do we can extract this value from right here in different ways we can extract it with parsing text or we can extract it with some code that we can have chat gpt generate now if we wanted to do it with parsing text so let's add the parse text and we're gonna add the parse text here the text to parse is going to be the web service response and the text to find is going to be a regular expression i'm going to add this regular expression enable this and this output is going to be stored in the match variable let's click on save let's run our process again let's make a call to chat gpt let's see what the ai is going to return to us and also i'm going to show you one more thing so it has returned to us match it has returned to us just the content great so right now we have the content and we could use this inside of a automation that is going to post on all of our linkedin groups for example on on different posts or we could use it to comment automatically on different linkedin posts or to answer emails or to prepare proposals or to do all kinds of different things where text generation is involved so just give me some ideas write them down below and let's build them together also if you are sticking around with me for so long watching this you must be enjoying my content do me a favor and subscribe to my video it gives me great joy i'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month uh, not month that would be amazing but the, by the end of the year that would be amazing really so please subscribe to my channel i would really love to have you in the community i have a discord channel for all of the questions on videos suggestions and so on and i would love to help you answer and create automations of all kinds and so on. but anyways back to our automations so we have this now there is another way that i want to show you how to do this is and to extract 
the text from this and that is using a python script now if we jump back inside of this process right here i'm going to show you very quickly what i have done i have created a new variable a new variable where i'm going to be storing the web service response and after that i'm going to be writing this uh, variable inside of a text file and saving it on my computer why inside of a text file i tried the different ways of passing this variable inside of the code execution to run a PowerShell script but I was not able I was able to do it with this method right here so in here we have the JSON file that we are going to process and convert into a JSON uh, into JSON objects once we have it as a JSON object let's just check it out right here PowerShell output once we have it as a JSON object let's run this again and see um, and see the, uh, what happens. So this is pretty much a similar process to what we have created previously. We are making a call to chat GPT. After that, we are gonna extract some text, parse it, and let's see, this is the PowerShell output. So it has formatted this uh, pretty well and clean it out and it's ready for me to be inserted. Now it is doing something weird with the emojis, but inside of my prompt or inside of my instructions right here that I have in invoking the web service, I could tell it also not to use any emojis inside of the post. So let's just try that. Write the LinkedIn post without any well i'll add this instructions actually right here because what might happen is that our prompt is going to be dynamic so do not use any emojis inside the content full stop that should do it pretty pretty straightforward and also pretty amazing why because we can have chat gpt we can pass it an email and we can have it generate a response for example now let's check it out right now and now if i click inside of this output we are going to have something that is much more clean and that is ready to be inserted inside of a post pretty amazing i know i am also pretty excited about this i want to show you one more thing also right here inside of the invoke web service now if we go right here inside of our model we can change our temperature for example now you can remove these parameters right here so uh, we're going to be using the model gpt 4.0 which is the newest model we're going to have a maximum token of 1000 but you can change this to whatever kind of output you need the temperature of uh, for example let's put it to 0 0.9 and see what kind of results we get a uh, number of steps a uh, stream uh, log props stop null and we can remove also all of these because we don't need them you can get all of these parameters from the documentation of open ai this is nothing uh, nothing crazy you can figure out also other kind of fine tuning parameters and things that you want from there if you want to customize the results even more for most of the use cases however uh, if you create good instructions it is going to do the job pretty well so now we made it quite uh, we increased the temperature so we made this post quite creative and as you can see previously it was creating me something relatively similar now it has completely gone off rails and it's talking about something different but always relevant to what i have asked to do now let me show you one more example and this example is going to be very 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 cool so in this example we're going to be using still the same model however we're going to be using a different thing we're going to be loading a pdf inside of it so this is a image actually of a invoice i'm passing it a image right here an image url and after that what am i asking it i'm asking it to provide an invoice and generate a json file that is go going to include all of the information inside of this invoice all of the details so previously i would have used microsoft power automate desktop uh, ai builder with power automate flow to build this but i can use chat gpt to ask it who is the name to ask it what is the address to ask it what is the phone number to ask it even to extract all of these items 
okay and put them inside of a table and then i'll insert them inside of my application or wherever the easiest use case would be just to ins um, extract kind of not the detailed information as well but i went even a step further and kind of asked ChatGPT to extract me every single item with description and also the price of each item it's really 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 cool and you didn't have to train any model or anything let me just show you how basic and straightforward it is we're just asking it a prompt which is going to uh, analyze the provided invoice and generate a json file and inside of the json file we're going to have the keys of item description amount due and it's going to be the description of the item and the amount and it's going to create a json file why because then we want this as a table so that we can loop over or over these things or do whatever kinds of things we want but very very cool stuff so let's see this automation from the beginning until the end so the first part we've seen it already and that is text automation where we can automate text for whatever purposes creating emails creating uh, proposals creating marketing content creating spamming content creating all kinds of text related content now let's see the second part now here we are passing the image url analyzing the invoice loading the information inside of a table and then let's see all of the items so we have a sink for two hundred dollars we have a smart filter amount due 150 dollars labor fee 50 dollars and one more item i think is service fee 25 dollars so what we did we asked it to create a json uh, uh, we asked it to create a JSON. We did pretty much the same things as previously. With, however, what we really did is we converted the JSON that we got from the PowerShell output, which is a cleaned JSON. So it's just a clean content response, and we converted it as a JSON custom object. Once we have this JSON custom object, we can iterate over the items of this JSON custom object. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this custom object has, if we click in here, has these items right here that were ex extracted and prepared by ChatGPT is so amazing. And then after that, we're gonna take each one of these items, cr create a new data table, and then insert each one of these guys inside of a data table. And the data table is going to allow us to loop through each one of these, access the details of each one of these, and so forth. Let's see the data table just for giggles. So this is the data table, all of the different items, and if I can, access them i can see that it sinks it's 200 and so forth pretty cool uh pretty cool stuff if you ask me very cool stuff and then we do a final loop in this final loop we could insert it inside of an excel sheet inside of a web page i just chose to display the message of the output now ladies and gentlemen prepare for a new whole era of ai process automation and also shoot me your messages and shoot me your requests down below for what kind of processes you want to create together. It has been a honor showing you automation and thank you so much for watching my videos. I will see you in the next one. Until then.